Dollars Creative TV channel. My name is Veronica Willifield and I am a mixed media artist. And welcome to my studio. Last week I made those beautiful textured backgrounds on the mounting board, and this week I am going to do a mixed media piece on one of them. I had a look at all five of them and this one with the tissue paper is beautiful and perfect for the project that I want to do. I found these wooden hearts in my studio as well as this piece of beautiful scrapbooking paper. I'm going to use the butterfly wings and I've got a word cut out. I'm going to do some stenciling with textured paste and make a beautiful mixed media collage painting. So first we are going to use this script stencil and with a palette knife I am just going to um, paint some textured paste onto the smaller heart. This is perfect. I'm going to put it aside and allow it to dry before I paint it. For the bigger heart, I am going to collage a piece of this beautiful vintage paper over the whole heart with gel medium. You can also collage with Mod Podge, but I prefer to use gel medium for all my projects. I paint a generous layer of gel medium onto the wooden heart and I'm simply going to paste the piece of paper over it and allow it to dry before I sand it. I also paint a layer of gel medium over the collage paper to seal it. The next step, I am going to take some book pages and tear pieces out to collage over my textured background. I paint a generous uh, layer of gel medium onto the background because I want this paper to stick into all the grooves um, that I created with um, the tissue paper on my background. You can see that I use my fingers to make sure that um, the book paper sticks to every 
piece of the background that I've made. I'm just going to dry my background and move on to the next step. I'm going to paint the background with one of my favorite colors, sand, and I'm going to leave some of the words exposed to create a beautiful background. My other favorite color is ivory and I'm simply going to apply it with a palette knife to add to this beautiful textured background.
I am now going to use gesso instead of white paint and I'm going to put some on the tear off palette and I'm going to use a brayer to add more texture onto the background. Just look at this, it is perfect for what I want to do. Okay, so I use an emery board um, or nail file um, that I buy from the local pharmacy um, to be able to get into the smaller pieces of wood that I want to sand. And I'm simply just sanding the edges of the paper um, around the heart. I'm using the Burnt Umber Antique Rub just to distress my heart um, on the sides and I'm just putting it, applying it with my finger. Those of you who know me know that I love to use drip techniques in my uh, mixed media paintings and I've made my own alcohol ink with Dala's sepia acrylic ink and rubbing alcohol and I mixed it to a 50-50 ratio. You can see that the color of the drips um, fades because of the alcohol that evaporates. So it gives it a beautiful distressed and vintage look. In the beginning I've mentioned that I want to use the butterfly and I'm going to cut out both wings so that I can stick them next to my heart on either side.
I am going to mix a blue color to pick up the color from the butterfly wings. I'm going to paint my wooden um, textured heart with it as well as the word. I just need to make the letters of my word a little bit darker so that it can stand out from the background. Okay, so I have an idea what I want to do, but I think my background needs an interesting effect. So I'm going to use some of the natural colored twine, wrap it around my canvas, tie it at the back and just do my assemblage on top of it. I like to just go over my twine with the gel medium to make sure that it is sealed but also that it is glued onto the background.
I'm just going to glue the heart on with a glue gun and then I'm going to glue the smaller heart um, on top of this one. I have mixed a beautiful turquoise and blue um, alcohol ink with Dala's um, acrylic inks and rubbing alcohol and I'm just going to let it drip behind the heart just um, to make it stand out and to add some of the blue color to my background. I also glued the word love or in Afrikaans liefde to the bottom of my page and I'm going to glue the butterfly wings on either side of my heart. Whenever I use paper in a mixed media painting, I like to seal it with gel medium.
I'm just going to add a few small details and then my mixed media painting will be ready to frame. Okay, so my heart needs a little bit more of the um, antique wrap and I think it is perfect. I think it is beautiful just the way it is. The one thing that bothers me a bit about this is that the word fades or blends into the background a bit so I'm going to use a white paint marker and I'm just going to outline um, the letters so that it can stand out. And there you have it, a beautiful mixed media piece on a textured background. I hope you enjoyed this lesson, until next week, bye for now.